The Indiana Dunes includes 15,000 acres of wetlands, prairie, rivers, forests, and of course, sand dunes. And when the dunes became America's 61st national park, this man booked a flight. His name is Q.T. Luong. I was born in Paris, France, and then I, I came here to the U.S. a quarter century ago, and that year I, I began my project to photograph all the U.S. national parks. Plenty of fine photographers have captured the wonders of the national parks, but Q.T. Luang is the only one who has photographed every national park with a large format camera. I was the first to, to photograph all the 58 national parks and then all the 59, all the 60s, and so I wanted to, to, to try to, to keep the, that record. Q.T. Luang is a scientist. He began to visit the national parks when he came to the University of California at Berkeley. He brought a standard 35-millimeter camera, but wasn't satisfied with the results. Then he saw the spectacular and iconic photos of Ansel Adams. The most beautiful prints I'd ever seen. And so I saw it was time to try to photograph with the same cameras as the masters. The first time I took um, a picture with that camera, when I came home, I looked at the transparency and I could see more details in the transparency that I could see at the scene. If I made a picture with this camera, I can really place the viewer as a scene because then he will be able to see as much as I saw, explore the scene for, for himself. Luang doesn't just visit the easy national park views. He must often travel for days. To get these shots of the Aragech peaks in Gates of the Arctic National Park required two commercial flights, a mail plane, and then a float plane. And from there, we, 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 we backpack for a couple of days to, to, to get to the base of the peak. The Indiana Dunes' best views are quite accessible, and Luong says he was struck by the ecological diversity. You see forest and you see wetlands and you have the dunes and you have the coast, so, so it's quite a bit going on in, in such a small park. Each large format photo costs $10 for film and processing. So these days, QT Luang mostly uses a digital camera, which he says can now approach the level of detail that drew him to large format photography a quarter century ago. But if a 60-second national park is created, Q.T. Luang will be there with the camera he has now carried to 61 of them. Mm -hmm.